Heart failure is a major public health problem causing extensive morbidity and mortality worldwide. In the US alone, about one million patients are being hospitalized each year from heart failure, out of which there are around 50,000 deaths. Currently, about 75% of heart failure patients are survivors of myocardial function, namely those patients that did not die as the result of the immediate acute myocardial function, most of them will develop congestive heart failure. Congestive heart failure means that the heart cannot supply enough blood to fulfill the requirements of the body. In order to try to alleviate damage caused by MI, we developed three different aims in the lab. The first aim is to try to understand the cellular mechanisms which underlie the damage caused by myocardial function. The second is to develop the stem cell technology, which is aimed at regenerating the diseased heart. Induced pluripotent stem cells can differentiate into any type of cell we have in the body. But what is special about them, they are generated from somatic cells like skin cells, hair, blood cells from the same specific patient. So uh, there won't be problem of immune rejection. From induced pluripotent stem cells, we make heart cells, they contract, and hopefully in the future we could use uh, those cells to replace damaged cells the patient's heart. We can use those cells for transplants. And the third aim in the lab is to develop a novel drug, TVP1022, and the purpose of this drug is to attenuate and prevent damage caused by myocardial function. So if a patient will come to the emergency room with myocardial function, he will be immediately given one IV bolus of TVP1022. The patient will be rushed to the catheterization lab, the artery will be opened, and we will follow the patient throughout his recovery. So the idea is to give TVP before we open the artery. TVP will both decrease the infarct size as well as diminish the long-term damage caused by myocardial infarction. We have completed a series of extensive experiments in which we have demonstrated the ability of the drug to reduce the infarct size, namely the tissue damaged by the lack of oxygen, by the overwhelming number of 40% and also improved cardiac function. So if these numbers will be translated to the human clinic, this means that TVP can markedly reduce morbidity and mortality resulting from myocardial function. The Technion is a magnificent place to do research. The Technion has provided a wonderful infrastructure. We all think the TVP is a very unique drug, so we see great hopes in developing TVP1022 as a novel cardioprotective drug for the benefit of the public. The lab was named in memory of Leon Minkoff, Marion Minkoff Lerner, first husband. We are very grateful for the donation. The infrastructure cannot be paid by external sources and therefore the funds donated by our ATS donors are extremely important in order to develop the research infrastructure at the Technion. <laughs>